<laughs> guys at the time it was our intention to actually go to clubs and try to find men to actually pay our bills <laughs> Okay, so before we start, I just have a little bit of a message for my fashion police out there. Yes, I did notice that there was a hole on my top. I was super, super drunk before I started filming this video, so I didn't notice that it had a hole. I only noticed now when I'm editing, so please, please, please don't drag me for the top. Yes, I know it has a hole and it's okay. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. Bye hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you are most definitely welcome and if you are an old subscriber a person who normally watches my channel welcome back and i hope that you enjoy my content and if you're new here guys i hope that you're here to stay please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video anyway guys thank you so much for 807 subscribers i truly truly appreciate that i can see that the family is growing not so long ago we, we were like literally at 175 subscribers so i really see the growth and i truly truly appreciate you guys so yeah thank you so much guys um today i'm back with gin and tonic please do not mind my nails two of my fingers came off not fingers but nails <laughs> came off and yeah we that's not gonna stop us from filming content right so today we're drinking pink gin and tonic as per usual because that's my favorite drink no it's not my favorite drink is dry red wine but we're gonna open that for a special day where we have like a bomb as story time because one thing about dry red wine it makes me talk cuck even more like i know i talk cuck but it makes me talk cuck even more it makes me even more honest let me say that because um one thing i've noticed is that people appreciate the fact that i'm really 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 honest and that is what my channel is all about so we are always going to be honest on this channel no lies told and in case you were wondering all about all those other story times that we have on the channel yes they are true things guys when i start lying i will definitely let you know i will not just lie i mean really come on but anyway today we are here with a story time of how my friends and i ran away from a guy at a club after he bought us some drinks So before we waste any time, let's jump right into the video. Guys, so I'm going to give you a backstory of what actually happened that day. Not necessarily a backstory. I'm just going to tell you what happened. Um, back in the days when my friends and I were still in varsity, one of my friends and I were actually staying at Res, and my other friend was actually staying off campus. If you studied at the UFS in Bloemfontein, campus you would know that there are people that stay in universities and people that stay in what's that other place brandbach so this one friend of ours actually stayed in universities but that's not really important right and i'm saying it's not really important because she always came to us before we actually had to go somewhere so she would come to our place and then we literally book an uber from there not an uber uber because there were no ubers in bloom but what i'm trying to say is that a cab okay cool so this friend of ours came to our race around five o'clock we got ready six o'clock guys we left race and we went to cubana yes the old cubana before the new one the one that burnt down Guys, before it burned down, <laughs> um, let me tell you guys about the setup. So Cubana was like, um, it was like a small, 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 small place where there was like a section where basically it was like a tent. Guys, it was designed like a tent, like it was a building, but the, 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 the exterior was sort of like a tent where you could, it had windows where you could see outside and... Yeah, basically that's how it was. It, it, it looked like a tent. So 
guys we went in there early because we didn't we knew that we didn't book a table we had been to cubana a couple of times before and we ended up with no table which was like not the vibe it, it was not amazing it was really really irritating because we'd end up on the dance floor all night so that day we decided six o'clock by half past six we have to be sitting on a table so we went in there guys half past six and then we actually secured a small yana table it was it's not it wasn't something it wasn't anything big it was a small yana table on the back side like um let me not even try to explain how it is when you're in when you were in there because it's burnt down anyway so people can't relate anymore but um we literally sit right next to a window one of those windows that look like a tent um it was a small table so we we got there we ordered our havli we ordered food like budget food because we were students and we didn't have a lot of money and then we ordered like one round of drinks let me name my friends the friend that lived off campus let me call her yellow and then the one that lived on campus let me call her blue so yellow the one that lives off campus used to love havli a lot I didn't smoke heavily at the time. I still don't. So our friend Yellow really, really loved heavily. So we ordered the heavily so that she can smoke and enjoy. So the first drinks that we ordered were cocktails. I can't remember what kind of cocktails they were, but they were really, really cheap. So um, we we started eating, guys. But because it was student meals, that like, we were not really full. So. We still wanted more and that day guys we decided we were gonna wear high heels and look kind of sophisticated which is something that we normally did not because we were pump girls <clears throat> i'm sorry but we we were pump girls and sneaker girls but that one night we decided we're gonna wear high heels so we wore our high heels went all the way to cubana made our order Everything was nice, guys. We were enjoying our time. And then when we looked behind us, there was this small yana table. Literally, it looks like this one. Um, it's like right by the wall, like in the middle of nowhere. And it was just one of those tables where you just asking yourself, do people even sit there? But then there was a guy who was standing there literally drinking and he looked like a loner guys but he kept on eyeing me he was eyeing me he was eyeing me and at some point we i don't know if we called the waiter to come to us or maybe our waiter was not showing up to give us drinks and then um we had to walk to literally the bar area because that table was really close to the bar area so this guy stopped me and he's like wow you are so beautiful <laughs> okay, ciao. guys at the time it was our intention to actually go to clubs and try to find men to actually pay our bills back in the days like it was our intention literally we would go into clubs scouting for men to actually pay our bills so when the guy actually greeted me and he told me i'm beautiful i was happy i was more than happy to give him attention even though he looked like a weirdo i i was really happy to give him attention so i i spoke to this guy and he's like wow you're really beautiful can i buy you some drinks and i'm like yeah but you cannot just buy me drinks because i'm with my friends so you we're gonna have to buy everyone drinks i remember he bought uh as like a round of savannas <laughs> guys he didn't ask for my number or anything he bought us a round of savannas and then he told me he has to go somewhere but he's gonna come back later cool sharp that wasn't a problem so we let him go after we got our round of drinks obviously it was paid for already excluding our bill that we already made for ourselves there because i mean that was just something else for our table and then the drinks he bought at the bar and then i had one of my friends to actually help me carry the drinks back to the table so that was sorted guys and then while we were just drinking at the table the guy decided to leave and then because we were sitting by the window we literally could see which car he went to 
and he literally went into one of those listed two cars that look like they look like piano guys but they they're really small if you live in bloom you probably see these cars like it's sort of like a taxi but it's not and it has a number plate from from lesotho and his particular one was white cool so we now know this guy and we now know what kind of car he drives so we saw him going to his car we didn't even cram the number plate guys we just assumed that we knew his car cool shop so now we're just busy drinking nyana that savannah nyana that he bought for us because we uh, we had already finished our cocktails it's it's nice guys it's lit it's lit it's lit we are dancing guys i was literally in high heels dancing like crazy like a crazy person I look like I was used to high heels. I'm not a high heels girl, but that night I was doing get downs in those high heels, honey. <laughs> Yo, that night was lit, guys. So before we even finished our Savannah drinks, a bunch of people shows up and they're wearing traditional wear. You see those swana things, those swana traditional attires, you know, those white shirts and the blue and white, whatever things that they wear, those kind of things. So these guys show up there and they literally looked like there was, the, there was a table next to us. It looked like not really, uh, I wouldn't say it was a VIP section, but it looked, it had a reserved sign on it. So these guys had literally reserved that table for the night. And guys, when they show up, it's not just guys, it's literally men and, uh, and women. So guys, they arrive and there's this, just, there's this, there's just this one guy. He keeps on eyeing me, guys. He looks at me. You know when you're not looking at someone and you can see that they're looking at you, but you're trying to avoid it and then you just look away because already there was someone else who told me that they liked me and they actually bought us drinks and he told me that he's going somewhere and he's going to come back. So I was trying to avoid that guy. But that guy, guys, he looked like he had money. So it, was, it wasn't really easy to avoid him eventually we had to go to the bathroom and that was after we were finished with our drinks because when you're in the club you don't just leave your drinks around it's either you finish your drink and go to the bathroom or you leave your drink with a friend but also you shouldn't trust a friend as well so we finished our drinks and went to the bathroom so when we went to the bathroom nothing happened we went straight to the bathroom and while we were coming back guys this guy decided to approach me and he started like making conversations with me because he had been eyeing me all along and now this time i couldn't avoid him because i had already noticed that he was staring at me this whole time so i really wanted to know what this guy is all about because it had been an hour now since the other guy left and i'm like oh, maybe he's not coming back anymore so why not and guys Immediately, I spoke to this guy. I just told him my name and where I stayed and what I was doing in Bloom. And then he just literally offered to pay our bill. He literally offered to pay our bill. And because we were broke as students, I did not say no. I wasn't, even if, even if it's now, I, I wasn't going to say no. Like, who, who says no to money? Like, are you even no? Are you even okay if you say no to money? No, nobody says no to money. Okay, maybe there are people out there who actually say no to money, but I'm not the type. Um, I'm really easily influenced by money. <laughs> Anything with money, I'm involved. You know, if 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 you want to kidnap me, put money like and then i'll follow it and go into the truck or whatever i won't even see the truck because i'm i'm really blinded by money i'm interested in my anything that that requires me not to pay i'm already interested you know cool shop so this guy offers to pay our bill and i said yeah of, of course 
course you can pay our bill but little did i know that that was a strategy to actually get us to actually move to his table so he paid for our bill we called our waiter and then he paid for our bill and then now we had to move to his table because now we do not have anything tying us to that other table shop guys so we move our entire table all three of us move our hubby was done anyway so it didn't matter anymore so we moved to his table guys he started bawling this guy started bawling he started buying champagne guys remember we were drinking savannah he started buying champagne he started buying food platters you know those chicken wings platters from cubana Yo, and those wings from Cubana are the bomb.com. Literally, those wings, they slap. They slap really hard, especially when you're drunk. Guys, I was so impressed. I was so impressed. I was the happiest hun on earth because of all the food and the alcohol. Because we were drunk. We were making decisions while we were drunk. And those were the only things that mattered. Cool shop. So this guy, guys, at the time, I didn't even have an iPhone. So this guy had an iPhone, I think it was an iPhone 6, an iPhone 6 Plus, it was a thing at the time. This was around, I think 2016, so, so iPhone 6 was a big deal at the time. This guy and I turned into husband and wife in that club. We started taking pictures together, literally selfies together. He added me on WhatsApp. He sent me all those nice pictures that we took together. Guys, we were literally couple goals. You'd swear we knew each other before we got to that club. I do not even know how that happened. But that guy and I became husband and wife in literally less than 30 minutes. So, now we're having fun, guys. It's around 12 a.m the club is popping this guy is telling me how much he likes me he's telling me how much he wants to go home with me and i'm like yeah sure i'm gonna go home with you and this time home is a hotel because these guys apparently came to bloom for a wedding so i was supposed to go back to his hotel room with him and of course we all know what he wanted but he thought he had it easy and yeah because i was speaking through alcohol i agreed to all of that and i just wanted me and my friends to have fun so i did not say no to anything because i knew that he paid our bill oh this guy came to save the day guys we had our own money at the time to pay for our budget meals and our budget drinks but it was amazing how the, the night turned out because of this guy. Now we ended up drinking champagne. I mean, we had never even had champagne all our lives. So it was something really, really drastic that happened to us. It was amazing. <laughs> we had the time of our lives and it was, it was really great, guys. I'm not even going to lie. But things started getting sour when this other guy that bought us Savannah's came back. So that other guy decided he's going to come back because we thought he wasn't coming back anymore. But around 1 a.m. that guy came back and he didn't luckily because remember, we were all close to each other. That that other table was still as close to that other table that was sitting at to his table, his weird table, because no one was taking that weird table. So he literally came back to his weird table. And then he came back, guys. He started eyeing me in a very, very funny way. I was so scared. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. I thought he was going to bring out a gun and shoot me because of all those savannas that he bought us. Because remember, he bought us a round of savannas each. Like that. That's three savannas. And you know, in Cubana, alcohol is expensive. So even if it's a savanna, it's still a little bit costly because i mean it's cuban cool shop so that guy literally came back and i think he was really really irritated by the fact that i was with someone else at the time so he just had one drink and left and he was drink he was the kind of guy that likes drinking whiskey so he just literally downed it and left he left guys he left but he didn't really leave 
But I, we didn't notice that he didn't really leave because he was just, he literally went outside to his car. I don't know, maybe he just couldn't take the heat or whatever. So now it's 2 a.m., guys. It's time for us to leave. People are leaving, the club is getting empty, and we realize that, oh shit, now, now we really have to go. And a friend of mine puts me aside, yellow, she puts me aside and she's like, do you really want to go home with this guy? Because I, I know that he bought us a lot of drinks and he's definitely going to expect you to go home with him. And then I didn't answer yellow. So blue pulled me aside and she told me, do you really want to go home with this guy? Because now it's really getting late and I think it's about time that we actually go home. And I actually thought of it, guys. The, the alcohol literally flew off my head. And I, I realized that, shit. I need to face this guy and actually tell him that I'm not going home with him. Because at the time, he was really, like, touchy-touchy. You know when someone is so ready to actually go home with you? They're busy hugging you. And they are so sure of the fact that they are taking you home. Like, there's nothing else that can stop them. Or stop you from going home with them guys so these friends of mine they actually talk some sense to me and i realized shit i, I really don't want to go home with this guy i was just drunk i was making decisions while i was drunk because one thing about me when i go out i will drink alcohol and get drunk and at some point i will start drinking water because i don't like getting too drunk because I do not want to end up having a panic attack. So I think at that point I was drinking water and I realized I don't, I don't want to go home with this guy because he's disgusting. He, first of all, he was really old. He was, he was like in his forties guys. Now I was 20, I was 20 and he was 40. So I really didn't want to go home with this guy. Cool shot. So my friend is like, we need to come up with a plan there's nothing we can do now like we cannot tell him that you are not going home with him because what if he starts acting weird and stuff like that so our plan was that we we're gonna go to the bathroom and figure our shit out like we didn't even know what we were gonna do in the bathroom but we, our plan was we are all gonna go to the bathroom so guys i tell this guy we are going to the bathroom so he's like let me take you to the bathroom. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going with my friends. And he's like, which friend? I think he didn't hear the friends part because he thought I'm just going to go with one friend. I'm like, no, both of my friends. And then he's like, why are you guys going to the bathroom? Why are you all going to the bathroom at the same time? It doesn't make sense. And I'm like, no, we just have some stuff to do and some stuff to discuss, you know. And also, we also need to wait outside, guarding the door for each other. And this one has a toilet paper. I don't know. I can't remember the story I told him, but he definitely bought it. Guys, he bought my story. So then, after I told him that story, he saw us all taking our bags. <laughs> I mean, we're going to the bathroom, but we're all taking our bags. But also, it's a club. So he asks me, why are you all taking your bags? I'm like, no, it's a club. Why, how would, why would we leave our bags here if we're not sure if they're going to be safe? Because this is a club, remember? It's not a restaurant. It's not, it's not campus. We can't just trust anyone. Guys, I tried as hard as I could to convince him that we had to take our bags. Because that... That was kind of dodgy to him. So, guys, we all take our bags. We literally go to the bathroom. If you knew the old Cubana, you'd know that the bathroom was on the other side. But so we literally went into the bathroom. We did pee. And then after, we had a discussion. Like, what can we do? How, how can we torch this guy? Because... 
I, I literally don't want to take one for the team. I mean, I know that we all drank the alcohol, but I'm the one who has to go home and sleep with this guy. And I, I, I really don't want to. I, I don't want to. I was sober at that point. I know that I was acting like his wife. I know that I was acting like him and I knew each other for the longest time. But no, I, I wasn't going home with that guy. He was too he was old. Even if he wasn't old, I wasn't going home with a nigga that I met in a club and and have sex with him just because he bought me some drinks. No. For champagne? Nope. Not my sober self, honey. So guys, we decided that you know what? We don't care what happens. When we walk out of that bathroom, we were literally running to the door. We all knew that the, the bathroom was literally further from where we were sitting. Literally, the bathroom was at the back. And then, but what, where we were sitting was on literally the opposite side. But the door was literally in the middle of both the bathroom and where we were sitting. So, we just we walked out of the bathroom, guys. We walked out of the bathroom and we ran out of the door. That time, we were running out of the door. We don't even know where we're running to because we didn't even book a cab. We we didn't have a car. We, we had nobody. We didn't know anyone there. So, we just literally ran out of the club for nothing. And that time, remember... It was 2 a.m. So the club was empty. So he definitely saw us running out from the bathroom to the door. Stupid ass. But it was a smart thing to do anyway. So guys, we ran out of that door. We, we literally ran to the streets. We didn't know where we were going, guys. But luckily, we recognized the car that belongs to that guy that bought us drinks at first. Did we not run to the car? Literally, we ran into that guy's car. That 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 car that looks like a piano. That car from Lesotho. We ran. The, the door was open. We literally ran into the car. This guy was still standing outside taking a smoke. And he could have just said, get out of my car because you, you betrayed me. You accepted drinks from someone else and I bought you drinks and you ended up with someone else in the club. But luckily, guys, he was kind enough not to say anything. But all he said was, while he was smoking it, <laughs> while, he's, he, while he was smoking, he said to me, well, to us, that your boyfriend is standing at the door. He said to us, your boyfriend is standing at the door and he's looking for you. <laughs> Personally, I, I thought he didn't see us, but apparently this guy literally went out of the club and started looking for us, literally looking for us, scouting for us like a hawk. But we were nowhere to be found because we ended up in that other guy's car. <laughs> we ended up in the other guy's car. But luckily, that guy was kind enough and he was done smoking. So he's like, oh, come on, let me take you home. So he just closed the door and he went to the driver's seat. Guys, if I tell you how we were hiding, literally, we couldn't see anything. We couldn't see anything because we literally were sitting like this. On the seats. <laughs> that was us. <laughs> All because of free alcohol. Guys, that guy drove us safely home and he took us to race. My other friend actually slept at race because she had no other choice. She she was with the race people. Just as I thought that the thing had come to an end. Remember I gave this guy my number. So in the morning, he texts me. He's like, hey, how are you doing? Um, what happened last night? And I'm like, no, I ended up going home because I, I really wanted to go home. I, I didn't want to go home with you. 
and then he's like cool ah that's not a problem but do you mind coming with me today like i'm going back to joburg he was from northwest guys he's like i'm going to joburg so do you mind coming to joburg with me i'm like nope i'm, I'm not going to joburg with you does he think i'm stupid did he think i was dumb enough to actually go back to him and like literally go back into the predator's hands and say oh let's go to joburg and have fun and have lots of sex in in hotels because i i really like you and that's why i ran away from you last night i i don't think that guy was okay yeah i literally ran away from you last night because i didn't want to sleep with you and then you still invite me to joburg and you think i'm gonna come <laughs> You must be crazy. You must be crazy. And that was the last time I actually spoke to this guy. But, but guys, yo, I, I really don't feel bad about running away from this guy because Lord knows where I could have ended up. And I do realize that we took a big, 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 big risk seeking help from someone that we had disappointed throughout the night yeah but he was kind enough to actually take us to raise and without expecting anything he didn't even take my number guys he were i think he was too upset he was too upset that he didn't want to take my numbers i can't even remember his name i only remember his car and dear guy if you're watching this and you remember the story i'm so sorry I do apologize. I was just young and stupid. And I appreciate the fact that you were kind enough to take us home. I mean, you could have just said, get out of my car because you had my drinks for free. And now you're running away from someone that actually bought you more drinks. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. But otherwise, Guys, the moral of the story is that you shouldn't allow men to buy you drinks out there because they're definitely going to expect something from you and you, you're you probably not going to be able to give that to them. So why, why should you even put yourself in that awkward situation where you have to run away from a guy? What would have happened if we didn't have that guy to run to? He would have been stranded. We would have had to run through the streets and these guys were driving BMWs, guys. So they would have seen us through the window and literally followed us. And we would have been trapped and would have had to do whatever that they wanted us to do because of a few drinks, you know, champagne. Champagne, is champagne really that worth it? No, it's not worth it. And um, guys, you just shouldn't, shouldn't trick people into buying you drinks out there, especially if you know that they're going to have expectations of certain things that you cannot deliver so just rather stick to your budget drinks if you are a student or whatever if you want to have fun just go and have fun my friends and i used to go to a club and dance without actually drinking anything so that's also okay you can just also go to the club for a vibe for the vibe you know you don't necessarily have to actually drink or whatever so please guys do not accept drinks from strangers unless if there's no excuse to accept drinks from strangers but anyway guys that sums up the video thank you so much for watching i hope that you like this video and do not forget to like comment and subscribe down below do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified each time i upload guys and thank you so much for 800 and seven subscribers I'm so happy guys you have no idea I, I never thought my channel would get to this point where we have like more than 800 subscribers but we are getting there and we soon we soon gonna make money out of this <laughs> not that it's the only thing that matters but it does matter that we make money so that we can get a better camera guys I'm, I'm gonna get tired of filming from my iPhone 13 Pro Max and yeah guys um i truly truly appreciate you and i'm happy that the family is growing it's growing on another level thank you so much guys love you lots bye